This is Salisbury Fire Department's Training Minutes. David Haynes, Training Captain for the Salisbury Fire Department. We're continuing on with our hydraulic series, and we're continuing to talk about the hand method for determining friction loss to use in our formula here to obtain our required pump discharge pressure. Again, this is specifically the friction loss element using the hand method. So the baseline, we always start with, we end up with a three inch hose number. And in earlier examples, we talked about using a hand method using 100 to 500 gallons a minute. And essentially what we would do is knock off the zeros or divide by 100 from the flow that we have. And then each of those would be represented on the hand. So from 100 to 500 gallons a minute, you'd have 100, 200, 300, 400, 500. And to get to a three inch friction loss number for every 100 feet, you would simply divide by 100 and then square that number. So 600 gallons a minute to get to a three inch hose number for friction loss. You do the same thing from 600 to 1,000, you just add the numbers to the finger 600, 700, 800, 900, or 1,000. So 600 gallons a minute, six, six times six would give me 36 pounds of friction loss if that were three inch hose. Now we're dealing with a whole other set of friction loss or, or flow here. We're dealing with higher flow, so our friction loss, we want that to be lower. We're going to increase our hose size. So earlier we talked about 4 inch hose. Now we're going to move on up to 5 inch hose. So our conversion factor, when we went to a smaller hose size, we had to multiply. So from 3 inch to 2 and a half inch hose, we had to do Q squared times 2. When we went from 3 inch hose to 4 inch hose, Hose size is bigger, friction loss decreases, we divide it. So 3 inch hose to 4 inch hose was Q squared divided by 5. Now 5 inch hose, the friction loss is even lower. So we take that 3 inch hose number, Q squared, and we divide that by 15. So conversion factor, using this hand method, for 5 inch hose will be Q squared divided by 15. And that's your 5 inch friction loss number. So we've already done 600 to 1,000 gallons a minute using the 3 inch method, which basically we take the gallon per minute flow, we account for the hose size by doing this first factor of Q squared, we divide by 100, which is essentially knocking off the zeros. So 600 gallons a minute, 6, 6 times 6 gave me 36 pounds of friction loss for 100 feet of 3 inch hose. Now to convert that to 5 inch hose, I take that 36 and I divide that by 15. So for 36 pounds of friction loss divided by 15, you're going to have just over 2 pounds of uh, friction loss in 5 inch hose. When you come down here, we'll stay with our whole numbers for, for now. 700 gallons a minute through 3 inch hose, Q squared, 7 times 7, there would be 49 pounds of friction loss for every 100 feet of 3 inch hose if we were trying to put 700 gallons a minute through it. For 5 inch hose, we divide 49 by 15. And you're going to end up with just over 3. For 800 gallons a minute, 600, 700, 800, 8 times 8, there would be 64 pounds of friction loss if it were 3 inch hose. Converting that to 5 inch hose by divided by 15 they're going to end up with just over four pounds of friction loss. And then working right on down the line, 900 and 1,000 gallons a minute, 81 and 100 respectively are your three inch hose friction loss numbers. So 81 divided by 15, you're going to end up with just over five. And then for 100, you're going to end up with almost seven, so six and change. Is called seven. When we go back to our in between numbers, 650, 750, 850, or 950 gallons a minute, using our hand method, we can't go just square the number. So our shortcut on the hand method is to come across wherever that in between number falls, you cross multiply on those two fingers. So 650 gallons a minute falls between 600 and 700 gallons a minute. 6 times 7, I have 42 pounds of friction loss if it were 3 inch hose. 
Again, conversion factor for that, by 15. That's going to be just shy of three pounds of friction loss. So for these, the majority of them, until we get down to 90, are going to be in between the other two numbers. So 650 is going to be about 2.5 or so. 56 is going to be about 3.5, not quite 4. 72, you're going to end up with about 4.5 or so. And again, this is 2 o'clock in the morning, easy math. You, you find the number that works. And then for 90, it's going to be the one that falls right in at 6. So. Conversion factor for a 5-inch hose, starting with a 3-inch hose method, the Q squared, the hand method. Gallon per minute divided by 100. Square that number to get 3 inch hose, and then conversion factor for 5 inch hose is to divide that by 15, and you end up with a friction loss there. That's today's training minute for hydraulics. Thank you.